Last month I bought these super interesting bootleg but compatible LEGO parts. They're from a Taiwanese company called MyBuild. The pieces are mainly made for building mechs. The use of mixel joints, LEGO studs, and clips means you're open to a lot of customization. There are five parts. F503, which is a socket with a clip surrounded by a stud on each side. F504, another socket and clip combo, but instead it has a 2x2 stud front and back and a 1x2 stud plate on the remaining sides. F505, which has a tow ball sticking out of a single brick, each remaining side has a stud on it. And F506, acts like a knee or elbow, and has three bars on it. There's also F502, but at the time I could not Amazon Prime it, so I skipped it. However, it's available now. So I purchased four of the five packs and opened them the other day. I sorted out the parts and after playing with them, started to work on my own custom LEGO mech. Since I mainly only build and mock with Technic and Construction parts, I'm unfamiliar with a lot of system techniques, and I didn't want to search for any references. The build took two days, mainly because I had to look through a large box of unsorted system LEGO for parts that would fit the color and aesthetic of my mock, but now I feel that it's ready. And here it is, this is my own version of a LEGO mech using my build parts. And yeah, that is a Bonacle pen mask that I got a while back. I'm happy to finally be able to put it to use. And before I go too off topic, I just wanted to say how much I love these miniature Kanoe, and hopefully LEGO can make the Bonacle pens again. Perhaps this time minifigure compatible. Back to the build, I made sure the mech was sturdy, and also that it wouldn't fall apart while posing, which is something I didn't have to worry about much, because the my build joint pieces had great clutch power with both studs and ball joints, my top heavy mech had no problem supporting the weight or greeble. Another bonus to the my build skeleton was having the pre-built option. All I had to really do was focus on details while working on the mock. The black joints also complement the build and are a great secondary color. The red and black together look really good in my opinion. With that being said, I do have some critiques. One thing is color. At the time of this video, the frame only comes in black. I definitely want to see more colors in the future, as a variety could look cool. And, and you know, that's another thing, variety. There's only been five parts for years. I think my build can only stand to benefit from more skeleton frame parts, more anti-stud options, and more pieces with mixel ball joints would be greatly appreciated. Having studs on all sides can be annoying sometimes, which is why a piece that was flat on one side would be great, as we could place bricks that could wrap around another brick, for example. Overall, I like the My Build Mech Creator. It's beginner-friendly, good quality, cheap, and a great way to make mechs. I hope one day we can get more variety when it comes to color and frame types. I think a lot of people could benefit from utilizing knockoff pieces to enhance their builds, and use it as a way to spark creativity and look toward new ways to build LEGO. Thank you all for watching. See you guys later.